Well, me, well, me well. when the Jeopardy Who question is uh, something you wish in three times. Uh, I don't. I wouldn't wish into a well. Why not? Because it's like down below. You know, if you're wishing on something, you gotta look up. Like a star. Yeah, like, cause like down below, that's where the devil is, man. They're like Elizabeth Hurley gonna crawl out of that well, and she's gonna be like, "Hi, oh, yeah." You will Your die wish in seven days. <laughs> you know I'm talking about the ring. Yeah, yeah, the TV, and then she's like rewinding the thing, and the fly goes back and then forward, and then it starts really? to like move, and she picks it up. And then and Brenda like, sticks her hand into the TV and says, "What did you just say to me, you nasty bitch?" And then she starts punching her through the TV, and she pulls her out, and then she gives her like a stone cold stunner right there on the hardwood floor. Yes. We're talking about Scary Movie Three, right? Okay, I haven't seen that one. <laughs> I, unironically, probably uh, the second best. Um, are you gonna see the new Scream? Scream? Scream Six. Um, I watched two thirds of Scream Five on Netflix. When Scream Six comes to Netflix, I'll watch two thirds. Okay. I'll watch the other third for you. I, hello, hello. I would love it. Hello, Sips. That's hello. That's a great idea. Oh, oh wait, what's up? Hi, Sips. Hi. Hi. Sorry, okay. I'm uh, late. Sips, we're doing this new thing. We're going to pick a movie each week. We each watch one third segments of it. Right. And then we talk about it and like stitch it together. Right. Okay. You what, know what? Uh, did you guys, have you done it already or no? This no, is, uh, I just came know, up with it on the spot. Okay. Okay. It's like, um, it, it sounds like one of those podcasts where like two 19 year olds tell you how to be the most productive man in the world. What if we got like a, a 300 page book? And then we got 30 people and everybody read, read 10 pages. And then we went around in a circle just summarizing it. You could read a 300-page book in the time it takes you to read 10 pages. You summarize your 10 pages and then you try to piece the whole thing together based on other people's summaries? Exactly. Yeah. Wouldn't that just I be feel more like work? Well, it's a lot of work, yeah. yeah. Are you telling like, me it's faster to just read it. the book? Yeah. No, probably. Maybe. I but feel like I feel like people that might excel at that would be like uh real life detectives. They would probably like that, right? People who do investigative work or like maybe archive work or something like that would be very good at that job. <laughs> but uh I, I play video games all day, every day for a living and I don't think I'm really good at that job at all. I like can't even keep a conversation. Span, me neither. Like uh it's crazy. I can't even listen to podcasts. Like I can't listen to people talk for longer than like, you know. A minute at a time or whatever i i just zone out what were you saying yeah <laughs> <laughs> i don't know i just I forgot what i was even talking about it ryan i hear you're pretty down bad and and uh bad big ambitions well i'm sleeping actually on the benches and stuff well the thing is like why wouldn't i sleep on the bench it provides no... Wait, which ben for your back. What bench are you sleeping on? The one right across, uh, right outside of I, Elgato I, I, Food Mart. Okay, well, listen. At this point in big ambitions for me, I, I sleep 23 hours a day. I, I'm up for like an hour farting around in bed on my phone, just like uh, organizing stuff and calling in new contracts and stuff, and then I just sleep the rest of the time away. I'm also losing a lot of money. Yo, but your happiness must be through the roof. At one point, I had 20 lawyers uh, employed <laughs> <laughs> at a place that had, like, two customers per day. I heard uh, lawyers and web fuck. devs kind of break the game right Hey, now. well, what is it? Um, uh, it sounds like you own Twitter. <laughs> Dude, they're going to take away my legacy verified. I saw that. Good, I don't want it. Are you going to pay uh, eight bucks for Twitter Blue and then hide the check mark? No. No. I mean, Twitter sucks enough with the badge, so... Is there an amount of money I can pay to Twitter that stops... It gets them to stop serving me tweets that are like, Chat GPT-4 has only been out for eight days. Here's eight days it changed the world. Pointing down emoji, and then I never click on it. You could use Chat GPT-4 to write the worst fucking fantasy novel you've ever read in your entire life. I haven't used Twitter much in the past three weeks, and every day now it just uh, sends me tweets from people I don't even follow. Like, uh, like it's trying to coax. Yeah, me you gotta back. click the at the top the for you tab. 
It's so something. annoying. For a while, the following tab. Sorry. I was I was into the for you page because it showed me videos of like people crashing their car, like just the car driving down the highway, and then a truck's tire comes off, and the car hits the tire and jumps like 30 feet into the air and then falls over on its roof. But now all it does is like it knows I'm into the Vancouver Canucks. So like 12 hours after the game ends, it serves me the tweets that are like, and it's time to drop the puck. Oh, Hughes evens it up. And I'm like, the game's been over for, for a day and I a half. I was there, yeah. dude. <laughs> oh, shield bash. Look at steel skin. Jesus. Two of these. One HP. Yeah, get her, get her. Nice. And then, uh, nice. honestly, I'm... As the kids say these days, I'm faded than a hoe. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> look at you melding into the tree. <laughs> I love that. You could do a little, see, you got like the, you can do little emotes as well if you want to do them. Oh, yeah, I've been doing, I did a few earlier. I don't know if you guys like emotes at all. I love them. <laughs> I wish they had the Nintendo ones in this, though. Nine damage, three thorns. Oh, three damage to thorns. So Me annoying. emoting when I'm pocket healing my. E girlfriend in Across the Obelisk multiplayer. For every kill you get, I'll give you an uwu. 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 For every kill, do the so. do the juego. What are you talking her, about? <laughs> juego. The juego. What is he talking nice. about? Juego. You know the juego face. Hey. You forgot I upgraded the rend. Boom, boom, boom. Let me see. Oh. Go, hey, go. Hey, go. Mouth, hey, go. your rupture will work on the one in the middle. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Let me hear you say it. Hey, go. It's, but it's, it's. Let me see. Hear you say, way ho. Yeah. Way go. But yeah, yeah, go. Boom, boom, boom. Let me say, way go. I just don't Fuego. understand. <laughs> You know the Juego face. The Juego face? <laughs> Shock no. The Juego? Yeah, they ask your chat, they'll tell you. I've been inspired. Oh! <laughs> why are you making it sound Spanish, man? It's it's Japanese. Well, how do you say it? I don't know. Ahigao? <laughs> Ahigao? <laughs> Ahigo. Light blue. A Juego. <laughs> I was like, like, what the hell oh, is it's that? Like the, it's like that Foo Fighters song. Ah, uh, he go. Watch him as he go. <laughs> no, no, thank you. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, it's kind of start... sick being stealthed, man. I'm just, I just take some time off. I'm going to crack another bubbly. Do it, man. Um, instead, Can we, like, from now on, new, it's like an upgrade? Plus two is like really good. It's something's like off the charts funny. X two. Whoa, X two. Yeah, that's is, like. Is oh, is X two the I... site you go to to see a uh, juego? <laughs> 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 that's where he went to. Okay. Yeah. It's like you can only X two if you laugh out loud. For real, for real. <laughs> yeah, how long. how often would you say that you laugh out loud whilst watching a stream? Like if you're watching a stream, it, I think the only time I I can I can remember in recent memory laughing out loud while watching someone stream was when Justin burped after doing the seltzer. Oh, you, I mean yeah, that, that was... wasn't a normal laugh though. You and yeah. you went off. I need to watch this Justin clip. Okay, hang on a second. Let me just see this. What is it?
Oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's funny. one more time okay just once more <laughs> the bubbles <laughs> i'm dead i'm done oh fuck me that's too much Oh, maybe burp sometimes. Holy shit. <laughs> Man, that's so fucking funny. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I love that the challenge is to drink two cans of seltzer without burping. <laughs> oh, fuck. Front monster. I laughed watching damage. Uh, Justin's stream last night when he was asleep and he had on Chibli's video of the AI girlfriend. And then the, her he name's was, Jennifer. He was just having a conversation with Jennifer about nothing. And then he said, "What color are your nipples?" And without missing a beat, she said, "They are pink and soft." And he just hung up on her. It's <laughs> 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 oh, so good, man. Brian, that's my home tree. He's mad about it. All right. Well, it's not your home tree because he is actually distinct from the other trees in the forest. Mm. He's he's got the mark the mark symbol on him. Isn't doesn't that make your Isaac brain horny and happy? <laughs> like, I'm getting extremely juego right now. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, he go again. Uh, oh, okay, I'm gonna be faster. A poison dart. This is cool. I like being a badass fighting. It's nice to play Slay the Spire, but you could take like. 75% of the game off to recharge your brain. Yeah, like, you know, eat a couple Doritos or something. I have some goldfish right here. All right, Extreme Blast Cheddar. No, gold. Costco only has the default flavor, but that's my favorite anyway, because the flavor fine. blasted ones, I think they have too much flavor, actually. I think, did they have a recall for, like, Salmonella or something with the... The there's no ones. way there's salmonella. In Not the, in salmonella, <laughs> but there was some kind of recall. I thought it was with the extreme can't, ones. Can't be, man. I'm, that's just too I'm much. I'm pretty sure. I, the only way Sophie I can him. live is I need to go invisible. So um, that's going to be gotta tough. Find, he's got to find his fate. I don't think I'm going to get there, guys. <laughs> I, think, I think this is it. Oh, Give my yourself turn? a little a little heal and hope for the best. Uh, minus X2, right? For what? For not winning. Don't look God, at me. I mean, it's... <laughs> I mean, not being able to attack is pretty bad, but I don't have any attacks I use anyway. Well, Sips, I hope you're happy. It's great timing, though. Hey, we unlocked a whole time. bunch of cards. It's pretty good. We got the Act 2. It's true. Got 900 First try. high score, Our, two perk points. It's my best ever score, by the way. Really? Oh. Yeah, 973. Who the hell I were never, you playing never, this with before? <laughs> I've never done better. <laughs> Dude. Oh. I like that. That's well, fun. Guys. Yeah, it was time. fun. We yeah. should do some more if you guys are down. Yeah, I it's absolutely nice. would be. I'm, I'm down to crap. We can grab a fourth as well if we, don't, if we want to balance things out a bit. Maybe see if Justin or someone he wants to play. Yeah, absolutely. I'm yeah. Coolio Julio. All right. Well, uh, wow. good to be back. Good to uh, see you guys. And um, I hope you make it through the next week without uh, too much puking or diarrhea. I'm built different now. Wish, wish me the same, please. To you as well. I wish you both the same. Thanks so yeah. much. Thanks. I need it. 
Uh, <laughs> all right, I'll see you guys uh, soon. Peace, Later. Homies. Peace, peace. Bye. Can we talk about Crazy Hamburger Man? What's your problem with Crazy Hamburger Man? I mean, he's a little insane. Obviously. He has a show on Turning Point USA. No! Crazy Hum Biden! It is horrible! Peloton ride today? Very good. 30 minute Emma Lovewell. Rock ride? 30 minute Emma Lovewell. 90s ride? 20 minute Bradley Rose. Indie ride? Total output? 930. 920 something kilojoules in 80 minutes. Pretty good. Did not go to Costco this weekend. Might go today. I was, I was in Washington this weekend. I didn't have a chance to go to Costco. I know how ironic it is. I ride my bike outside with my cycling club. That sounds like way more annoying. Because like what you're just like, you got to talk to some other dudes who are like the CTO at some startup company that's making like a worse version of TweetDeck. Or you're like, no, sorry, we're in zone four. We don't have a conversation. Okay, then why is your ass doing it with other people? It doesn't make any damn sense. You can just catch my ass at the... I'll, I'll just be in here listening to some music. I was thinking about getting a... Uh, mounting a TV up on the wall over here. And then I could like watch movies because these rides are getting fucking long, dude. I mean, it was like 90, 80, 90 minutes every day. That would at least help me take in some culture, but then I also have to get out our cordless drill, which is like, this is a pretty big cost. And I guess I got to buy the flat screen, but the flat screen is like, you know, I don't know, $25 these days. Normal people watch movies and shows while doing cardio. I, I know what you're saying. Yes, normal people have weak mental. I'm not afraid to pedal into the ether for 80 or 90 minutes with, with essentially just bad music and my own thoughts. I think it's actually good for your soul. You need the Peloton, why? You, the question you should be asking is why does it bother you? Someone asked, how's your Peloton ride? I tell you, people are like, my real bike is better. Somebody in chat was like, get rid of your Peloton, just bike to work. I do 10 kilometers every day. My ass did zero because the bike doesn't go anywhere, but I simulated 50 kilometers today. You really want to get into this? You want to compare quads? You want, what's your FTP, brother? Riding to work on your, on your huffy with a messenger bag on and a button-up shirt tucked into your damn chinos. Don't, before you, I don't even want to be in your cycling club. Don't even ask. My FTP is 265. Listen, okay, I didn't ask you. You're, you're innocent. <laughs> I'm talking about the people who are like, what's FTP? Isn't that something you use to upload uh, images to a shared server? Average wattage is like 65. They're riding a bike with two gears. They got a Canadian tire. They're like, why do you need a Peloton? Hey, I know it's working for you, but why don't you do what's not working that well for me instead? Shut the fuck up! Okay, now that we're past that, we will get back to big ambitions. But like big ambitions, honestly, the, <laughs> the donut shop like pierced the veil for me. When I opened the donut shop and it was like, oh, even if you get full capacity in your store, you're making like $9 a day. I was like, well, that shouldn't take too long to fix in like the... Did you... No, that's okay. And the donut shop, we just got to let it burn a little bit. I don't want to start another campaign. I just want to sell my donut shop and then open a jewelry store. I'm not super stoked about having three pill bugs either, but you know what? It's okay. It's mostly just for banter. Crispy Bacon? Is, isn't that the name of the pig from the new, hottest news clips of the 2000s? Um, forward, forward, re, forward, forward. The pig's name was Chris P. Bacon. Now to the story of a pig that is inspiring others. One pot, <laughs> one pot belly pig has certainly endured his share of problems. Chris P. Bacon was born without the use of his back. <laughs> yeah, you have to read this story. <laughs> we should not. Oh my god. 
re 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 thought you'd like this. Ever tell you that one time, this was like in the infancy of the internet, my dad showed me a video and he said it's real. And it was um, like, this is where media literacy was in, I love the new pug by the way, in 1996. Um, he showed me the video. It was a grizzly bear and a man getting into a fist fight over like a salmon or something like that. And he, he told me like, it's real. And at the end of the video, literally an, a canned salmon brand like popped up and was like, buy gold seal sockeye salmon or whatever. But he was like, no, it's real. <laughs> Have you seen the Pope's jacket? Yes, but I don't want to talk about it because I, I'm... I don't think I should be embarrassed. I just think it's a sign of the times that I thought the picture of the Pope in the Balenciaga uh, puffer jacket was real. I looked at it and I said, man, this guy's like, he's dripped out. I did not look at it and then retweet it to all of my followers and say, yo, you guys got to see the Pope. He's dripped out. But until you looked at his hand... I don't know if maybe, like, I'm normal or or you're normal, but, like, I just look at a picture. Like, I, I, didn't, I didn't then zoom in on it and then, like, examine every single... People were like, look at his glasses. His glasses were messed up, and they showed, like, a 4K zoomed-in screenshot of his glasses. And I'm like, okay. Then sure, I, I mean, if you're spending 10 hours looking at every single photograph you see on Twitter, more power to you. I'm, I just sort of, I'm weird. I just look at things. I don't know. I don't, I mean, I'm not even explaining what I'm doing in Super Auto Pets right now. I'm doing this. I've watched so much gameplay in this game, I have no idea what's going on. You know, I, I hear that a lot. I hear that um, more than simply now and then. What's funny for me is that's how I feel when I watch anybody play um, any social deduction game whatsoever. I really feel like I could watch, um, like, Apollo, for example. I feel like I could watch him play Among Us for 200 hours. And as soon as they get to the meeting, I'm like, what the hell are they talking about? They were just a bunch of little crew members like walking around what do you mean like one of them was was sus in admin he wasn't sus in admin he's literally just a guy it's me with league i will say my wife yesterday when we got home from washington she showed me a clip of league of legends and said wasn't that amazing and like for me it's literally just like they were at roshan or whatever the hell the dude is called in league and there was like four red blobs all shooting particles at it. And then like one green blob like teleported in from a bush. And the announcers just went, oh, oh, oh. And then like the green blob blobs outnumbered the red blobs. And then their health bars just went. And everyone in the audience is like, oh. Hmm. I'm like, I get it. I, I understand. Whoever shoots more particles at the whoever's health bars are going down the slowest is going to win it's just that simple i've played some dota in my day i've tried in and out i i enjoy um i enjoy the burger everyone has the same take on in and out so this is not like a, a rare take i enjoy the burger i think the fries are horrendous I don't care that it's because they're real or like more real than the average fast food french fry. It, the, I feel like they just kind of taste bad. I unironically like their fries because I don't feel like shit after eating them. Again, I'm not sure if this is like a good thing or a bad thing, but I mean, I must be like God's strongest warrior or something because like last night we got home from Washington. I don't know if I've mentioned this yet. We went through the McDonald's drive-thru. I ate my 10-piece chicken nuggets. I ate um, the three chicken nuggets from my daughter's Happy Meal that she didn't eat. I ate all my french fries. I uh, drank my large Coke Zero. I ate a few of my wife's french fries. Like, and I felt, I didn't just feel like fine. I felt amazing. I feel like a magical machine. Like the Hitachi magic wand.
I don't know if it's like may maybe I mean you, you can't have it both ways. I see some people in chat that are like, oh, one day your stomach will get bad too. The same people, like, anytime I talk about, oh, I had, like, diarrhea once. They're like, almost died, salmonella, can't blow back there, lol, 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 couldn't be me. So, like, I, I mean, make up your mind, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. I don't know how it works, but I don't know if it means that I've, I've conditioned myself to eat fast food. Because I really don't eat fast food that much. Or if it's just that... It, I mean, I don't want to say it, but maybe you guys are eating too much fast food. I know it's the first time anybody's ever suggested that fast food could be bad for you, but is it possible that you've just eaten too much fast food and kind of like your, your gastrointestinal tract needs like a break if you feel like garbage every time you eat it? Non-target? Non-target? Wait, what do you mean non-target? I mean, I don't think I eat too much fast food. I mean, it, it, any fast food is probably too much fast food, but I would say I eat fast food one time per week. But also, the other thing is, listen, some of you guys are also like, wow, fast food like once per week? I also eat fast food once per week. But then I see your drive through order, and it's like a fucking, it's an, uh, an industrial, like corporate audit or something like that. I just get like one combo meal and eat it. I don't go through and I'm like, give me the egg, the quarter pounder extra value meal with a milkshake and then also give me 20 chicken nuggets on the side and then also like an apple pie. Like I just eat uh, more than a normal person's amount of food from a single meal because the one combo is more than a person should eat, but still. Yeah, people are like, fast food once a week? I would never. Then I'm, Show me your DoorDash history, motherfucker. I don't ever eat fast food. I do order three pizzas a week, but I, I don't ever eat fast food, man. That's a, there's a difference, okay? Healthy delivery exists. It's the, it's the world's most normal man. Guy on Twitch who was like, um, I never eat unhealthy food ever. They, just mentioning fast food immediately, it's like, oh, who asked? I guess is really the punchline I'm trying to find a way to get to. Nobody asked. <laughs> you don't understand. There's information asymmetry. I show you a little piece of my life. You think you know everything about me. He gets fast food once a week. Wow, that's like three times a day. I know nothing about you except your username. Now, it tells me more than you think it does. Especially if you have the same name on Reddit. But... Anytime I say, oh, how often do you order fast food? How often do you uh, drink triple IPAs in your underwear? Um, how, how much cardiovascular exercise do you get a week? People go, oh, straw man. It's not a straw man. There's, there's a fog of war, like in the best strategy game of all time, Polytopia. Why don't you reveal something about it? Don't, don't type healthy delivery exists. Tell me what the fuck you eat, motherfucker. If I wanted to pay $30 for something I could get for $350 at Costco, I know that those routes exist. I see them riding their electric scooters in the bike lane 24-7. Why don't you tell me what you eat? So you're lucky. It's been like five minutes slash user. Oh, you're, you're lucky there's so many people whose usernames start with a W and have an asterisk in the middle. You're lucky I don't remember regex. Oh, I think it was like a W-E. Ooh, it's not a weed bong nut. Okay, hide them, hide them. Listen, people are so like, I mean, it's like, I guess what I'm trying to say is that streaming is like the hardest job in the world, essentially. You t people ask you questions about your life. They ask you your opinion. Then you give your opinion and they basically are like, fuck you, I'm better than you. It's crazy. It's psychotic, the behavior that, that some of these degenerates have in chat. Hey, what's your opinion on this? You are, you, I, I give my opinion. You are fucking stupid and I disagree with you and you're, the fact that you've ever gone to see a Marvel movie in theaters uh, means that I'm smarter than you because I own uh, the Grand Budapest Hotel on Blu-ray and I've watched it with the director's commentary. Okay, I mean, I, the thing is, the, the difference that you're not realizing is people are asking me my opinion. Nobody's asking you your opinion at all. We don't know who you are. Little bro's not on the team. You've got to give your opinion unsolicited. I wish I had the luxury, quite frankly. That's, that's not been a part of my life for quite some time. 
Nowadays, I'm, I'm out here just trying not to annoy people on a daily basis. And people are like asking me questions. How do you feel about salami? And I'm like, oh, I've been trying to eat less processed meat because it's considered a class one carcinogen. I didn't realize that until recently. People are like, oh, really? You don't eat processed meat and yet you have a gas stove? And I'm like, listen, buddy, li it's, life's fucking hard, okay? It's, we got a long road in front of us. Can we all just... Like, you, you asked in the first place, and then you come at me, like, I didn't realize that it came with, there was a trap involved, it, there, like, I stepped on a, on a caltrop conversationally or something, like, it's just, it's too much, man. Thoughts on Joanna Newsom's new music? No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not answering any more questions. You had your chance, okay? I, hope, I mean, I've said all of my opinions on everything on planet Earth at this point, I'm just repeating myself. She has new music? I don't care, I'm... I gotta get good at this game because I no longer have the luxury of relying on my uh, charisma now. So I gotta get good at this damn game so I can just do what other streamers do and keep their mouth shut and just cram DoorDash into my face. And instead, I, I talk about eating McDonald's. People are like, don't you, you, you hate your body for some reason. Meanwhile, as streamers cram in snacks into their mouth on stream, people are like, here you go, King. Here's $20 for your next DoorDash order. It just drives me crazy, man. I mean, don't even get me started. Listen, it's a little selfless, but Apollo was, was shilling for Justin Subathon. It's for a great cause. Justin's net worth, which I think is noble. I was losing my... He almost turned me into a hater. By the way, thank you. Thank you, Louis Berg, for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. He almost turned me into a hater. Hard for corn. Thank you as well. Ap Apollo said, chat, if we get to 15... Th and Rex Mechanica, thank you as well. Thank you. He Apollo said, if we get to 15,000 subscribers, I will cook tonight instead of ordering DoorDash. This motherfucker, they were like 700 subscribers away from 15,000. It's like $3,500 to, to save you 50 bucks. If you pay someone else $3,000, I'll save myself $50. Hey, Shaddy plays. Thank you as well. I was almost typing that verbatim into chat, but then I was like, no, 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 don't be a hater. Like this, it's too much. He's doing, it's a good thing. It's for, it's for Justin Subathon. But I was like, holy cow. I, I did. I, I, I'm embarrassed to say it, but temporarily I, I did become a chatter in that moment. What does become a chatter mean? Anytime a streamer says anything, just take it in the worst way possible and respond with something like sarcastic and insulting <laughs> just because you're having a bad day something like that lydia tar who what do you mean who she's tar she plays tar in tar lydia tar She's Lydia, she's Tar, she's uh, a conductor in an orchestra, the orchestra somewhere in Europe, her name is Lydia, she's a conductor, um, she gets accused of some impropriety, she prides herself on the cultural capital that she has in life as the conductor in an orchestra, her name's Lydia Tar, Lydia Tar, she's an orchestra, she's part of an orchestra. X2, thank you for the X2s, thank you. Maybe level two cow? I mean, I can't help but feel we're falling off a bit here, but that could change. Oh, do the cow! You can why buy the cow when you can get the milk for three dollars. Okay, we'll go first, and we'll talk about the movie Tar. The movie's called Tar. It's a movie. It was nominated for many Oscars. It didn't win any because Everything Everywhere All at Once won them all. It stars Kate Blanchett. It's a movie. She's a conductor in an orchestra. There was a guy on the episode last night named Stripes. Really? Stripes, huh? Oh! 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 Uh oh! Nice sheep, brother! Man named Stripes, huh? That's I, I, I'm gonna remember that there used to be men named Stripes. In, uh, in Vancouver. This is the future that um, they took away from us with Expo 86 and the Olympics. Also, I didn't move here until after the Olympics and obviously after Expo 86, but dude, this cow's going sicko mode. Are you seeing this? 
I don't even want it. So if someone's asking me questions about cold brew in chat, I don't even want to answer, okay? Because it's just, first off, I got a 10-piece, but, oh, you should have done something different. Then if, if I'm going to answer because you're like, what is your ratio of cold brew? Do you make full cold brew or do you make a concentrate and then mix it with water and ice every morning? I buy Stoke cold brew at the store, okay? I buy two containers of Stoke cold brew at a time. I have one glass of cold brew every day before my Peloton ride. And then when the coffee is getting low, I go to the grocery store and I buy more Stoke cold brew, okay? I understand I'm paying diamond prices for, for coffee. I could just, I even have a, I have a cold brew kit in my house. I have a grinder. I don't have any beans, but you can obviously get beans anywhere, including at Costco. But it's just one of those things I do. It's just a little convenience I allow myself. A little, a little slurp of of the nectar of of sweetness of of laziness that just helps lubricate the gears of all the grinding you got to do as well okay my my preferred stoke color i didn't know you guys were into stoke holy cow um i i drink the i mean i used i drank green for a while but now i'm a i'm a red drinker it's just it i like the way it tastes better I was calling it stock as well until I mentioned that it was like one of the fastest growing brands. And that was when I found out that I was not drinking a local Vancouver cold brew company. I didn't realize that it was made uh, somewhere in like Grand Forks. And it, like any, t this is not a caricature. This is real. Anytime I see anything in Vancouver that I've never seen before, I'm like, oh, it must be a local company. Must be a local company I've never heard of before. I've never seen uh, Stoke Purple. I'd be willing to give it a shot, though. I do have to say, and, and this it, it pains me as someone who's very pro Costco, there is like, um, there's, a, there's no iced coffee at Costco, at least at the Vancouver Costco. There's, a, there, I, I went there for iced coffee. There's no iced coffee solution. You can buy coffee beans. You can make your own cold brew, but they don't have like, I guess they don't have the refrigerator space to put like four packs of Stoke. I was hoping that they would they would be there, but we've got Kirkland brand iced coffee at ours. I gotta go to the. I you know what? Maybe I just haven't been looking in the right spot. I gotta do a price check. I mean, the Stoke is pretty expensive. Don't get me wrong, but it's it's just one of those little things I allow myself. You know, <clears throat> Vancouver Costco scares the shit out of me. I kind of lost it a little bit when I went to the Burnaby Costco to pick up my glasses. Like the Vancouver Costco being busy, I get it. It's Vancouver, you know? There's the Costco's right across the street from the stadium. Sometimes you go and there's a Canucks game. People are banging on drums. Like 5,000 people in Canucks jerseys have crowded the food court to get a hot dog. Most of them probably aren't even executive members. So what are they? That's why they have to move the. They got to move the food court inside! of the Costco, okay? Because you're letting all the rabble in, and now I can't get my own hot dog without rubbing shoulders with other season ticket holders, okay? Anyway, but then the Burnaby, I went to the Burnaby Costco at um, 4 p.m. on a Thursday, a Tuesday maybe, it was a Tuesday, and it was packed, and I was like, bro, why are you packed? You're Burnaby, like, no disrespect, but don't you people have jobs? I mean, like, my ass is took time off, I guess. I could have been recording more Super Auto Pets videos. I, I took time off to come to Costco and get my glasses. I, I, the only reason I went is because I thought it wasn't, so, it wasn't gonna be so busy, but that shit was crowded, man. Are there any places in Vancouver that aren't busy? Yeah, but like, the thing is, like, the spirit of, like, bigger city living, because Lord knows you can't call it big city because we got people in chat from Manila that will take offense to it. Bigger city living. Sometimes for when I first moved to Vancouver, you'd be like, oh, don't go to that crowded restaurant. Go to this one instead that's got nobody in it. Then you go to that restaurant and pretty quickly you find out why there's nobody in it, brother. It's the best spot to get a Cuban sandwich in Vancouver. I'll be honest, I don't have any idea. That's... I don't know if I've ever had a Cuban sandwich in Vancouver. I'm sure it wouldn't surprise me if they do exist. I did have, uh, I, I, I went to Il Grotto del Formaggio when I got my winter tires taken off. 
that's the same place where a dude, well, it was like two blocks away, the dude tr pretended to elbow me in the stomach, and then the guy behind me says, don't mess around out here, it's bad for your health. One of the best spots on commercial. I, I had a great sandwich, and I was smart enough this time to take a medium instead of taking a large. The large was way too much. It, it, it felt like a very sinister statement. Thank you. <laughs> Can you tell the story again? I wasn't here. It's a pretty, I mean, the story is, uh, listen, you piece of junk. It's kind of like self-evident, or like it, it tells itself, so I'm going to tell it. I was walking down the um, street while my winter tires were being changed for all seasons, and um, a man in his 40s, who appeared to be under the influence of some kind of substance, uh, came at me, he like hunched down and then held his elbow like this and went elbow smash and pretended to elbow me in the stomach. To which I looked at him, I tried to defuse the situation and I said, whoa, <laughs> you scared me. And then the guy behind me looked at the dude who did the elbow smash and said, bro, don't mess around out here. It's bad for your health. And then I just kept walking. That was like my cue that I was like, I'd gone one too many blocks north on commercial. I was like, I gotta go, I gotta cross the street, I gotta go a little bit further south, because it's getting, <laughs> we are past the numbered uh, avenues. I gotta go back to the numbered avenues. That's where, that's where I belong, I understand. Thanks for letting me know. My ass walking around north of First Avenue in like full athleisure. What was I thinking? Um, and they had a little conversation with each other for, I don't know, they were still talking for like 45 seconds after that. And then I was like, I'm just going to go. I don't want to be a part of this. What do you, it's not, <laughs> it's not a big deal. Like I just, I own a set of winter tires. I own a set of all season tires. In the winter, we put the winter tires on and we store the summer, the all seasons. And in the spring, we take the winter tires off and we put the all seasons on. We store the winter tires. Thank God I live in a tropical country. Thank God I live in a part of the world that doesn't have mosquitoes. You know, it's, there's trade-offs everywhere, man. Okay, you got me? I'm just, why are you trying to get one over on me? We're all in this together, man. It's just a tire change. It's not that, it's not that crazy. It's not that big of a deal. Obviously never been to Winnipeg. My ass doesn't live in Winnipeg, idiot! <laughs> when, when Hockey Night in Canada plays here, they don't show a little creek with a sidewalk next to it. They show a skyline of a beautiful concrete and glass buildings and the mountains and the Lions Gate Bridge and people walking around, you know, jogging and going rollerblading and stuff like that. They don't show two dudes having a Slurpee outside of the 7-Eleven on Princess Street, okay? It's the, there's different parts of the... Winnipeg, it's like a three-hour flight from me, man. That's not even... It's not even... I mean, you could walk it. It would take you months, though. Listen, I have nothing against Winnipeg, okay? It's not a stray, though. Someone said, that's a lie. There's mosquitoes in Winnipeg. Maybe they just said Canada. I don't know. They deserved it, though. Have <laughs> you ever visited Montana? I haven't, but... I th like, it's not a, a destination that I have, like, a high percentage chance to, like, go to as a vacation. But if I had to run from the law, it would be, like, first on the list for sure. The Montana guy did it. Listen, did I did I answer the question to free him from feeling like he has to ask it over and over? Yeah. If I was like um, Jason Bateman from Ozark, you could catch my ass in Montana. I'm not even insulting M Montana. Like, there's other. I think there's states. Okay, now it's just genuinely rude, but I think there's states that have less to offer. At least Montana is beautiful. There's natural beauty, right? Topography, geology, stuff like that. There's some states out there. Like, I'm just going to be honest with you. I don't see my ass ever going to Alabama. Like, it's a state that I don't think is particularly naturally beautiful. Um, if I wanted great food, I'd go one state over and I'd go to Louisiana. 
if I wanted like warm weather, I would go like a couple states to the southeast. I would go to Florida. Um, it just doesn't seem like there's anything there for me. I guess if you're really into like college football or something, or college, any sport. I'm in Alabama, you're right. It might be a fine place to live. I have no idea. But as a, as a tourist, it wouldn't be on the list. It has space camp? I thought space camp was in Florida too. They have, you're telling me they have space camp in Alabama instead of at, like next to Cape Canaveral? I guess the astronauts don't go to space camp now that I think about it. We haven't even sent a man to the moon in like... In like 40 years or something. <laughs> That's where they build the rockets. You know, I had no idea. Well, listen, if I was... I'm not trying to say there's no, like, economy or anything. It's it's on the Gulf of Mexico, right? I'm sure it's got a, a an economy that's it's doing something. I'm not... All I'm saying is, I think, as a, as, a, as a foreign tourist, there's not much reason for me to go to Alabama. I mean, like, no disrespect. As a foreign tourist, there's probably, like, you know, less than 10 states that I would go to. And you might say, like, oh, that's offensive. But, like, your ass does not go to, like, every province in France when you go to France. Your ass goes to Paris and then goes, oh, I went to France last year. So, like, don't take offense. It's the same thing. Like, I, if you, people... Oh, we went, we got 10 wins thanks to the tamarind! I'll be, like, a flexible astronaut. They could live in Florida or in Alabama, apparently. Alabama's a pile. <laughs> I didn't, listen, I did not say Alabama is a pile, okay? I know, I did. Okay, well, fair enough. I mean, again, it's not disrespectful. It's, there's more good places to live than there are good places to visit. It has to be that way. Otherwise, your ass would never go anywhere. You would just stay where you live. In the U.S., I, I would go to... If, if I was just from foreign country, let's not even specify a country. Let's just... We'll make that like a generic, okay? California... Natural beauty, great weather, good cuisine, Hollywood, Los Angeles, San Francisco, that's a given. New York, New York City, and everything that comes with it. That's a, those, those are a given, okay? Florida, Miami, cuisine, culture, Disney parks. You can you hate the player, don't hate the game, okay? That's just, that's just honest. Nevada, so true. Las Vegas. That's it. That's all you need, okay? Texas, unique culture, cuisine. Some sightseeing and culture, for sure. Illinois, Chicago, Italian beef sandwiches. The hot dogs have pickles on them and the pizzas are tall. Okay, now I'm starting to... <laughs> now I'm starting to run out, honestly. No disrespect. Uh... Sure, okay. I'll get Colorado... Skiing, beautiful nature. I, I, that would be on the list for me. I would like Hawaii is a given. Okay, Hawaii is a given. And then, like, I like Seattle, but if you were just from nondescript another country, I wouldn't be like, oh, you gotta go to Seattle. Like, if you're from Vancouver, I'd be like, you gotta go to Seattle. They'd be like, what's there? I'd be like, the same shit, more or less, but it's only a three hour drive. Like, send it. Alaska, sure. I, I would put Alaska up on the list as well. Philly, really though? Like if you're from, if your ass is from Austria, you're going to be like, I'm going to Philly on vacation. You go to New York. You could, uh, <laughs> if you're from New York, go to Philly. If you're from Philly, go to New York. If you're from Austria, I'm sorry. I feel like New York probably clears you. I will even give you, I'll, I'll give you Louisiana because New Orleans for me feels like a nightmare destination but a lot of people are like that's like a dream for me so fair enough dc my ass does not care about going to dc at all because i'm not american like well what do i care about seeing the white house and the lincoln memorial and stuff abe lincoln didn't do shit for me man <laughs> i guess like there's probably some knock-on effects from the american civil war but like, my ass, if I'm going to go to Washington, D.C., my ass should just go to Ottawa or something and learn about my own culture, you know, or my own history. I don't think someone's going to be like, oh, I'm from Stockholm. I got You got to go see Washington, D.C., bro. You got to go see the Capitol building. Dude probably lives, like, across the street from the Royal Palace. 
Nashville? Sure, if you're into, like, you know... I mean, isn't... Okay, <laughs> isn't, like, Nashville is kind of like, um... New Orleans for, uh, Kenny Chesney fans? It's like, if you don't like jazz because there's no words in it, then Nashville is like your New Orleans. Public drunkenness, like bodily fluids hanging out everywhere, but then country music instead of jazz. Also, the, the only other thing I have against Nashville is not fair. They have a, a, their own HGTV show about like, you know, love it or list it Nashville. And that immediately is like a minus 50 for me. This is not even fair. That being said, there is love it or list of Vancouver. You might say double standard. No, I also, I take 50 points off Vancouver. Vancouver is kind of, it exists in like a quantum superposition. When the, when it's sunny and it snowed like relatively recently and you can see the mountains and you're like, oh, it's hot enough that I could wear a t-shirt, but there's snow on that mountain. I'm like, this is damn paradise. When the forests are all on fire and like, Somebody almost runs over me when I have the right of way crossing the street in a white model Tesla Y. And then like I look at them and they're on their cell phone like FaceTiming somebody. I'm like, well, I got to get the fuck out of here, man. And I always just give them like a... As if they're going to look in their rear view mirror and see me. I'm going to be... And they're going to interpret this. They're going to they're gonna see this and they're going to be like, oh, he's saying, oh, really? Like, I guess you learned how to drive when there were only two cars on the road, when, where in order to start your car, you had to go out in, into an open field and take a big uh, crank and shove it into the front of the car where the engine is and then go ring, ding, 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 ding. Like, they're going to interpret that immediately. Oh, here we go. Spent a week in Vancouver. Everything was awesome. Somehow the Ubers were all super nice cars. What's up with that? I drive my 2001 Mazda Miata and I get picked up in a Lexus for 10 Freedom Dollars, 12 Maple Bucks. <laughs> I'm not offended. I don't know. I, I haven't taken Ubers in Vancouver too much because I live here. I've been in a couple Ubers in Vancouver. I took an Uber home from the hospital after I finally got my antibiotics last summer. I was like weeping in the back seat. The driver was probably pretty uncomfortable. What I remember, he was driving like a Toyota Corolla though. It wasn't that... It's not a it's not a bad car, but it's not like a this I wasn't like, oh, that's crazy. Why were you weeping? Because I finally got a doctor that like took my ass seriously when I was like, I feel like I'm gonna die. You ever see a therapist about that? No, I'm I'm playing super auto pets. <laughs> The, the world's uh, least impatient doctor, the first doctor I saw out of like five doctors where I was like, hey, I've had diarrhea for three weeks and my legs are rotting. Everyone else is like, I don't really know what's up with that. She was like, hey, can you roll your pant legs up for a second? I was like, oh, it finally happened. Mom, mom, it happened. What were you ill with? I don't want to tell you because... <laughs> It's, it was a long arc on the channel, okay? But we're, we're past it now. I've been trying to workshop a tweet. It's something like, Brendan Fraser from The Whale passes you the boof. Y, uh, W-Y-D, question mark, all lowercase. Brendan Fraser, no. Let me, okay, picture, you know the picture from The Whale? The picture, you know it, don't think too hard. That's the tweet. And then the, that's a picture, and then the body of the tweet just says, the whale passes you the boof, W-Y-D, question mark. You think it could work? No? Just make the tweet? I love, like, almost never tweeting, though. Your ass be tweeting a lot, though? No, not really. Less than ever, more or less. I did I, a couple times this weekend. That's just because somebody hit me with, like, an elbow smash uh, on commercial drive. And then also... Um, I really did teach my niece how to play chess. At least, well, she knew how to play chess. Then I taught her how to do the, um... Oh, that hurts. I taught her how to do checkmate with a, a king and a rook. I was trying... I felt like I did a good job of explaining it. She was like, why do I need to know how to checkmate with a king and a rook? I was like, at the end of the day, every game of chess comes down to checkmate with a king and a rook or a king and a queen. 
You get the, when you go up by one piece, the reason being up by one piece is so valuable is because when you trade all your pieces down and you get to the end game and you got a little material advantage, you can promote a pawn or maybe you already have a rook and then your ass just checkmates them. I was like, that's the, the end game of chess is the foundational element and then you build off of that. So she beat her dad in chess. Then I taught her how to uh, checkmate with a king and a rook. And then I taught her not an opening, but I taught her like, hey, when you open, like, listen, don't open A3, okay? That's a psychotic move. I was a little nicer about it. A3 doesn't do anything for you, okay? Regardless, I was like, yeah, but you know, you might want to open with something like E4 because then your pawn gets some uh, coverage in the center. You want to get a little control of the center. You, uh, your queen gets a diagonal where it gets some power projection. Your bishop gets some power projection. Both of them can move. It's, and then we like work through that. She knows how to like do the first five moves of a chess game. So she beat her dad. I taught her those two things. She played her dad again and got wrecked. She got destroyed. But you know what? <laughs> It's a long-term pursuit. It's not a short-term pursuit. Sometimes it takes... You, you learn a lesson, you regress a little bit, and then the next day you wake up and all of a sudden... It's like a fighting game, you know? Like if you were winning fighting games just spamming low kick, and I taught you how to do like a focus attack da dash cancel, you might be worse for like a little bit until you fully normalize that, and then your ass is going to Evo. I also beat her, and you said my chess skill was garbage. Listen, why are you clowning on our, our niece? She's 11. <laughs> I didn't say your chess skill was garbage. I said, oh, that's an unconventional opening. Because, like, on move three, you already had your rook on, uh, on h6. And chat, back me up here. That's a little unconventional. You open like move one was like knight to c6, then move two was h5, and then you played uh, you played uh, rook to h or sorry yeah rook to h6, and I was like, what the heck's going on here? Anyway, long story short, she's she's getting there. Just give her some time, okay? I mean, I honestly I I told her because she's like in all these uh, like extracurriculars and stuff like that because she wants to go to. Princeton. If she can't get into Harvard. <laughs> I mean, this is the way, like, these these kids are serious about their education, right? After I taught her a little bit of chess, I was like, you should honestly just practice chess, like, a little bit. You'll probably, these were not the words I used for her because she's 11. But I was like, you're going to go sicko mode on, like, all the kids in your school. Maybe there's going to be, like, one super nerd in your school who has, like, a who has a chess coach or something like that. Like, you can't ever rule anything like that out. But I bet if you practice, like, a little bit, you're going sicko mode. <laughs> By the way, I, I, I wanted to tweet this because I thought it was astute, but I also thought it was a little rude. And I didn't want it to be taken rudely. I wanted it to be taken as a joke. But how crazy is it that, like, five, six years ago, there were so many... Not all software developers, okay? But there were a lot of... Computer programmers who are like, um, sorry, truck drivers, you're all going to be automated. Five, five or six years, the Tesla semi is going to come out. You guys all better learn to code. Here we are in 2023. They can't stop the Teslas from crashing into brick walls. Meanwhile, chat GPT-4 can code a whole game if you, with like one sentence as a prompt. Maybe your ass you should learn how to drive a fucking truck. Well, well, well. Isn't it ironic? Don't you think? You're so smug. What, it's, 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 okay, you're right. I'm so smug. You dare turn against your own? I'm not here for the soft boy um, software developers. You guys have some arrogance, and that's okay. It's all right to have some arrogance. You're like an incredibly high-paid demographic. You know, tech companies blowing up was kind of the story of the 2010s. I'm not saying it's not okay to have some bravado. All I'm saying is now the shoe's on the other foot for a bit. We got Silicon Valley Bank. We got um, automated cars. Apparently, can't seem to get off the starting line. Pun not intended at all. In fact, I resent the pun. Now now people are like, forget that. We need uh, more bricklayers. And all of a sudden, you're like, won't somebody please think of us? Be careful what you wish for, brother. How do you think I feel as someone with a, an incredibly um, educated 
associate's diploma in software engineering. One of us, one of us. <laughs> really great for me who's just graduating next month. You'll be fucking fine. Even if you're not, you're what, like you're 22? Come on, you're gonna be okay. There's still plenty of time to either get a great job in tech or alternatively work for like six years in tech, build up like a crazy 401k, decide that's not what you want to do and then like open a bakery or something like that. You're right, I do, I always have my fallback career as an actuary. Which I still, everybody knows that what I say here is wrong, but nobody, myself included, knows why it's wrong. But I remember saying, why, isn't an actuary the easiest job of all time? Because like you're the only one qualified to know if you made a mistake? Like if you have to go to school for like 12 years after high school to become an actuary and they graduate like four students every year, your ass can fuck around. Because what is another actuary is going to be like, hey, you messed up? Nobody's going to... <laughs> Nobody else. You're going to be the only person in your department, man. Cobalt, have you ever been to uh, New Orleans? By the way, I don't even want to talk about this. This is kind of like, I don't like to bring my issues at home into the real world. But my wife and I, and of course our daughter, watched The Princess and the Frog. Didn't talk about it after the movie. I thought we were all on the same page. On the drive down to Washington, I was like, oh, I really like The Princess and the Frog. She said, you liked it? I thought it was, I don't remember what word she used, but I thought it was pretty bad. I've never, almost never, this might become my invisible man, where anytime I have a differing opinion on something, Kate goes, yeah, but you liked The Invisible Man. Well, sometimes she says, you love The Invisible Man. And then I go, I did not love The Invisible Man. I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was, a, I thought the story was the, what the story is. Because basically almost every single Disney movie made for children has like the same story. It's like, I'm not happy with my life. Let me change something. Oh, fuck. It went horribly wrong. Ah, never mind. We're all good. You know, something like that which is fine, but the music goes crazy. Why combine them? Hey, Alias, I combine them because if I don't combine them, the macaque doesn't spit out a 24-24 orangutan. What do you think is better? Having two monkeys out here that are like 3-3 three, three each or having a macaque that spits out a 24-24 orangutan? Anyway. Stay gay, you, you get six wins, okay? Enjoy your six wins. We get 10 here. From a, from a non-sub I expected, but from a subscriber? Jeez Louise, man. So the story, I'm... Almost every Disney movie, to me, has a very similar story, which is fine. You know, it's, you know what you're getting into when you get into it. It's, it's like a Marvel movie, more or less. You know, there's been like one Marvel movie where like the bad guys won. And then the next movie, they were like, psych. It's part of the cost of doing business. But the music in The Princess and the Frog goes nutty, man. Like, dig a little deeper, almost there. Um, going down the bayou, down in New Orleans, friends on the other side. Like, like most, uh, most Disney movies have, and maybe I'm a little bit more Disney-pilled than the average person, but I would say most Disney movies have one, two, three songs that are good to great, in my opinion. Some of them are a little different. Frozen has got, you know, love is an open door. Let it go. Overplayed, but that's that's one that's a Disney all timer for sure. Um, in summer, for the first time in forever, like it's got lots of great stuff. Uh, the Little Mermaid. It's got uh, Under the Sea. It's got uh, um, Poor Poor Unfortunate Souls. It's got uh, Part of Your World. It's got Moana. It's got uh, Thank You. It's got Shiny. It's got uh, How Far I'll Go. It's got uh, Where You Are. It's got um, we know the way, like it's got, like there's some that are that are a little bit more cracked, but then you got like Lilo and Stitch, and I mean that's pretty much just like Hawaiian roller coaster ride in my opinion. No disrespect, of course, to Lilo and or Stitch, but but Princess and the Frog, I'm just saying it's up there. Why do you know all these? Because I have a two year old. <laughs> And what's crazy is that she was singing songs this weekend when she should have been napping. You know what she was singing? I kid you not. I took out my phone and took a video of it. She was just jumping up and down on the bed. She was singing, I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. 
I like to move it. I like to move it, move it. Just over and over again. Holy cow. This is the craziest team I've ever seen. I like Turtle 7. You, you deserve this one, honestly. This team is horrifying. Do you have a Steam Deck? I don't. I don't feel the pull, honestly. I hate this. I just don't like... I just don't like computers or computer games is the thing. How about like some spot, there's some hot glasses. I don't, I don't like games. This is just, I, my, my real love in life is um, analyzing credit spread, the spread between uh, junk credit and, and AAA credit and stuff like that. And I just sort of, this is what I do. This, the, what you're seeing me do right now is what I do so that I can dedicate some time to analyzing duration risk and stuff like that. So they, this is really, like, this is my job, but it's really like, it's the credit stuff or whatever. That's my, my passion. Have I fooled you all this time for, for years? I fooled you? It was funny hearing you say you loved Isaac all those years. I really did love Isaac all those years. Go pump the brakes, now you're gonna hurt feelings. Then like, just one day I just had too much. And it's like, once you're done with it, you're done with it. <laughs> it's like, you ever have a friend whose parents got divorced when they were like 60? And you're like, really? You made it through like 35 years of marriage and then like one day you were just like, I'm out? I think that was what happened in Isaac. It's just like one day I was like, fuck it. And there's no, after that, there's no reconciliation. So you just said I had like six months of runs where it was like, no damage. Ah, every item you pick up, your tears are bouncing off the walls and can't hit anybody. And then you're like, I don't think this item is very good. Mm, chatting. Actually, if you pick up 17 different items and you don't even know that Esau actually has a shot speed upgrade. So damage that scales with shot speed actually isn't objectively a bad thing. Like it could be a great thing if you got a bunch of shot speed upgrades, which is good because there's no damage upgrades in the game anymore. They've all been replaced with shot speed upgrades. So it's like six months of that. And I was like, you know what? I'm picking up my hoe bag and I'm going to Las Vegas. And I, I don't know if I'm ever coming back. Chib, you should come to Vancouver and we can get um, vasectomies together. Like Red and Link. How far are you willing to go for clout? <laughs> are, you willing to, <laughs> are you willing to get your vas deferens soldered to the inside of your leg for clout? Oh, I'm willing to fly to Los Angeles. I'm willing to fly to Austin. Are you willing to let a doctor cut, cut off your seminal vesicle? With a pair of scissors? You think in classic or the Pollock method? I haven't really looked into it that much to know whether I'd be doing classic or the Pollock method. Is it like, like a skateboard? You can ride it regular or you can ride it goofy? Well, you, if you get it the Pollock method, when you pop a boner, is it called a nollie? Who would win in a fight? Um, the whale or Bucky Barnes, the Winter Soldier, at the height of his power? Which I would say is probably Civil War, but I don't, you know, we could get into a discussion about it if you want. Bucky? What makes you say that? The adamantium arm? Sorry, the vibranium arm? I think you gotta go with the whale. Unless Bucky Barnes approaches him from the right. In which, cause that's his blind spot. How tall are they? <laughs> oh, circular muffin. You know what would be a fun game to play? You have to pick a year and you're picking a year where you think you could defeat everybody born in that year in physical combat. And if you're wrong, like if what, let's say you pick 1930, okay? If one 93 year old is able to beat you up, they all get to come in and go ape shit on you. They'll beat your ass like you got surfed off the sidelines in Blood Bowl. <laughs> Can you imagine? What are you talking about? I don't know, brother. I got no idea, honestly. 
I'm spiraling. No 93-year-old is taking my ass down. I think that's probably true. Would you go would you go 10 years higher? Do you think you could, you think you could beat up in physical combat everybody born in 1940? Oldest well everybody there is 83. I don't know what I honestly think that there's some 83-year-olds out there that could that could beat my ass. They have a huge physical disadvantage. There's no disrespect there. Like I'm not trying to make things up. But like might be like some Vietnam vets who have seen some shit that are like... Like, did you see Dan's picture of Jerry from uh, Big Brother 10? That dude, he's 94 or so, 95? Listen, I think personally, physically, I could take Jerry. But if you take... If you put Jerry's brain in like... Even in my body, he's unstoppable. He's got, the dude was, he's doing physical labor. He's 94 years old. He has a part-time job. Do you know, <laughs> it's, that's very impressive. That's all I'm saying. I would love to see physical 100, though. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. Just, <laughs> let's not. What if they did physical 100? But then it was an average person from age 1 to 100. Dude, you could make some shit that, like, the... Like, little kids would go crazy in, like, a pull-up competition. I, I... This is an honest question. Does the person who holds the world record for most number of pull-ups... Are they, like, under the age of 10? Is that, like, gymnastics where you peak before you're even an adult? Because I feel like whenever we go to Science World, there's like, there's a dead hang bar and you measure like how um, long you can dead hang. Really fit adults get on it and they can dead hang for like, I don't know, a minute and a half, two minutes. You could just literally take like an average three-year-old and just pop them up there. And it's like a leg, they got Lego hands. They just go, and they, you could, you could go get lunch. You could have a, a meeting with, like, uh, your accountant or something like that. You could come back. They'll still be there. I don't know how you're going to make um, an event that the 100-year-olds could win. But I will tell you, my generation would fucking crush the self-checkouts without a doubt. They would win the look up from your phone challenge. That's probably true. But wait until they have to uh, open the PDF. How old do you think you'll be when technology starts to pass you by? I think it's a false dilemma. I think, like, some technology has already passed me by, but I've willfully made a decision to not keep up with it. Like, my ass does not use TikTok anymore. My ass does not use, like, I, I don't even understand Snapchat. Snapchat, or is it, I always get confused. WhatsApp is like cacao talk, right? It's like line. And then Snapchat is like the messages expire. Like I, if, if that's technology, then my ass is, is already getting passed, but I'm doing it because like I, I mean, why would I want to keep up, you know? You're legit just talking about apps you don't use? Well, what technology is, I guess, I'm not like, I don't understand AI. I kind of like, I, I resent having to see so much shit about AI like every single day on Twitter, but I think that's more of like a the Twitter for you algorithm just pissing me off. The metaverse? Yeah, but nobody gets the metaverse because it's like not very good. <laughs> it has like no use case <laughs> right now. Mark Zuckerberg in the chat, everybody. Mark Zuckerberg in the chat. Hey, Mark Zuckerberg, fuck you! <laughs> It's the easiest plus twos I've ever farmed in my entire life. Why don't you go like raise and eat your own goat, you piece of crap? Owned. Get out of here, Mark. Yeah, I don't I don't really have a lot of confidence in the metaverse. And I've never seen a folding ideas video before in my life. We we came to that conclusion independently. Oh, very similar looking squad here. I, I see what's going on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
I want to zuck the shit that make that made Mark Erberg. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's, I think that might be extremely good. I want to I want to zuck the shit that made Mark Erberg. <laughs> X2 X2 X2. I want to zuck the shit that made Mark Erberg. Wow. What's X2? Malph was, he was off the perk today, as the kids say. They don't say that? I was losing it when Malph kept saying, Juego, Juego. And I was like, what's Juego? And then he kept saying, you know, like the face, the face. It's like, what is this guy talking about? It turns out he's talking about when you're so cum drunk, your brain dies. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. This, by the way, this build is going nowhere. I love Mondays. You know, I got a cat that you would not like at all. His name is Garfield. And also a lady, I don't know what her job is. She just kind of works in an office. Her name's Kathy. She goes, Ack! Or something. Something like that. I think she says, Ack. She's always doing stuff. She's so crazy. I love her. What does Kathy even do, man? And don't just say some glib shit like whatever she wants, okay? Like, what's her job? What does she do? Oh, I get an actuary. Ha ha. Joke's so funny, you could put that shit in a Laffy Taffy. God forbid a woman does anything. That's not what I meant! I'm getting gaslit here. I just want to know what it is. Why? I guess, like, I would... You you try to put me on the back foot with an ad hominem attack. I went to debate school. I'm not going to take that. Why are you being so ca defensive? Why is she being so cagey about, like, what she does? She hired Dilbert. Ah, that explains it. Her ass is going to fry, man. She's, right, she's in a lot of trouble right now. <laughs> Dilbert came into work with the Che Young shirt on and people started asking questions. WTF did Chibli just tweet? Oh, hang on. Okay. POTUS President Biden, U.S. government official tweeted, sundress with no panties on, three greater than signs. Sure. I think you've earned a heart on that one. <laughs> I'll give you, a, I'll give you a, a plus two on that one. I'm not sure if I graduate you to the X2, but I, I'll definitely give you a plus two for that. What does that mean? I mean, it means what it says. It means that Joe Biden tweeted, Pan sundress with no panties on, three greater than signs. I know you're going to be like, no, he didn't. Well, yeah, duh. But like, wouldn't it be funny if he did? Is like what the tweet says. Basically, it's not what it says, but what if it was what it said? Hey, I have to I have to ha eat something for lunch today. Is it what what do you think the odds are that the salad mix that I bought last Sunday is still good today? Info request, it was opened on Wednesday. It was my second bag of salad. I opened it on Wednesday. You think it's just going to be dark green water in there? Last Sunday? Yeah, I didn't buy it yesterday. What, you think I am like a Twitch chatter? Hey, I bought lettuce at the grocery store yesterday. Is it still fine to eat it today? <laughs> Info. I have never heard of a refrigerator. No disrespect. <laughs> Sorry, it was kind of rude. <laughs> or whatever. Such as. Boiled lettuce legit kind of tasty? You say so. Is it as tasty as uh, sundress? No, you know what? Boiled lettuce? Boiled cabbage. Yeah, boiled cabbage I can get down with. But cabbage and lettuce, they're like, you know. They're cousins, but like they're not um, they're not identical. Like a cabbage has got more turger pressure. It can, it can hang on when it's being boiled. Lettuce is just like, it's gone, brother. Hey, Anel, I just lied to my doctor and told him I was going to get a salad for lunch, but really I'm going to eat an ungodly amount of mac and cheese. Wow, you really got one over on him. 
when you show up at the uh, <laughs> at your doctor's appointment uh, in two years, he'll be like, I thought I said lose 20 pounds. You got me. You got me. Your ass thought I actually cared about my health? Nah, son. I was just here to get someone off my back. Somebody's still losing it over, over the boiled cabbage stuff. I'm tired. Listen, I don't make the rules, okay? Be like a flexible mineral. Like it could buy the, be, either be like an acid or a base. I think, um... They, like, your, your point was boiled spinach, everybody loses their minds. Boiled lettuce, they think you're crazy. I don't think anyone's losing their mind for boiled spinach unless you're like in, you're at war and you've been at sea for six months and you're like, holy cow, some vitamin K. People, I, boiled spinach is like, uh, I would almost prefer it any other way, honestly. I'll take some raw spinach. I'll take some sautéed spinach. He said boiled spinach was fine. That's what I'm saying. Is he's starting the he's starting the whole discourse from a place of insanity. <laughs> but the lettuce, it just I mean it's it's the properties of the vegetable. It just doesn't stand up to the boiling as as well as some other uh, some other vegetables. Steam spinach kind of good. Ain't nobody got time for that. This is something that we used to say back in the day when we didn't want to do something. I don't, I'm not a big steamed guy. I mean, if you gave me the, ch the dumplings in particular, I, I will never say no to a steamed dumpling. I'm happy to just be invited. But for me personally, I, I would take a, like a pan fried or even like if we have frozen dumplings, sometimes I'll just air fry a, uh, some frozen dumplings. They turn out pretty good. And the, the convenience can't be beaten. This is the Rotten Tomatoes Daily. It's from 1998. It's a horror action fantasy adventure. It's exactly two hours long. It's a movie. It's from 1998. It's a horror action fantasy adventure from 1998. Relatively well liked by audiences, not well liked by critics. It's one word. I know it's not this, but just like give me a plausible guess. This could be Hook. An entertainingly macabre and excitingly staged action horror with a propulsive energy from 1998. I feel like Brain Dead. No, Brain Dead is critically beloved and is probably from earlier as well. Macabre and excitingly staged action horror, 1998. I'm skipping. I don't have an answer. A t Blade, it's Blade! Techno vampire pick. It's Blade, dude. I know Blade at a 58. Blade 1 is pretty sick. The CGI is hilarious. The starting scene is incredible. All the choreography is amazing. And also the scene where Blade uh, is chasing the... Um, what do they call the guys who aren't vampires, but they're going to become... Va they want to become vampires. So they do the vampires bidding. They're not sycophants. They're like um, thralls. Yeah, when he's or familiars is one of the two. When he's following the the familiar in the car and like he's just driving, but then like the the New York City behind him is like constantly like pivoting on an angle and going like fast forward on a VCR is so good. I love Blade. Blade's a lot of fun. Um, okay, and then normally we start with maybe like a cine to nerdle. Robot Police, Dairy, Dairy, Pennywise, Richie, this is It. It has Beverly as well. Now, I'm also seeing Beverly Hills, Police, Comedy, that's, that's Beverly Hills, um, Cop. Then, Omnicorp, I know Omnicorp. I don't know what it's from, though. Oh, wait, Mutants? Mutants New York City, you know, you got me thinking of uh, the, the Teenage Mutant variety. Hey, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Robot Police Detroit is Robocop, which is also Omnicorp. Is this correct? Yes, okay. Robocop 2014, don't insult me. We got three, we got eight swaps left. Oh, okay, we have The Hills Have Eyes. So swap me here. And then swap me here. I don't know what the other one is. Oh, it's Ghost Removal New York City. It's Ghostbusters. Okay, okay. 
we got there today. Apparently, there's there's some more puzzles I missed too. Oh, yesterday's apparently yesterday's was pretty hard. <laughs> Hang on, average three point five out of five. So I, right off the bat, I see Matt Damon, I see Christopher Nolan, and I see Black Hole, and I'm thinking that we're looking at um, it's got to be Interstellar does not have Halle Berry in it, but that's okay. Let's, so th that's going to be interstellar. I got to think about what goes here. Mal? That sounds right. But I'm like, Tom Hanks, Leonardo DiCaprio. Let's catch me if you can. Con artist. Biopic. I hate to do two swaps here, though. Should have thought more carefully about that. Halle Berry. Tom Hanks. I doubt, I doubt Tom Hanks or Leonardo DiCaprio have been in a, a Netflix original. F France and Timothy Chalamet just seem to go together here. King? King of... It's Timothy Chalamet in a movie where he's a king of France? No. Mal Architect? Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, this is Inception. This is also Christopher Nolan. Oh, no. It's Shapes. <laughs> oh, no. I can't, I can't, I can't work them, man. I can't work them out. I, with only 10 swaps remaining? I can't, I can't hot swap. I can't figure it out. Wait a minute. In, it, Interstellar is not a biopic, so that can move. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> I don't think that's real. Okay, hang on. Well, you know, okay, yeah, 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 These can just move anywhere. The biopic could be a Netflix original. Well, these need to go. <laughs> it's like Christopher Nolan needs to go here. And then Black Hole, Matt Damon, and then Interstellar goes here. We only got seven swaps left. Halle Berry was in a movie called, like, Gothica which is a horror movie. It's not a Netflix original. Maybe she was an architect? Oh, no. Biopic? Timothy Chalamet. King. Of France? By Chris oh, no, bro! Christopher Nolan biopic? Uh, this is gonna be like a first man. They're all, they're both part of the same movie. How am I supposed to get them to, to go to the same spot? This one's impossible, man. Also, what's this? Oh, you know what? Maybe it isn't Interstellar at all. Maybe that was the maybe that's the trick. But black hole? There's probably no black hole in first man. Timothy Chalamet, King of Horror. <laughs> oh, King France Architect. Netflix original. <laughs> Private. One biopic. I, I, I give up. Yeah, you, you got me. At least you got one. I lost it. I lost it trying to rotate shapes. Okay. Catch me if you can. This is Interstellar. Timothy Chalamet is in Interstellar, apparently. I don't even know what I'm looking at. This is Inception. It's like Bridge of Spies. The King, 2019. Okay, I feel like I should have known. Oh, Saving Private Ryan, Tom Hanks, Matt Damon, Private Friends, obviously. Okay, you know what? It's good to be humbled. Flight Intoxicated, Denzel Washington. That movie is called Flight. I see Ethan Hunt. It's Mission Impossible. Tom Cruise. I see Tommy Lee Jones. I see The Riddler. I see Val Kilmer. Holy cow. <laughs> um, wait a second here. 
What's the fourth? A oh, Wayne. But then this four young adult genre abnegation. I have no idea what that is. But I do know Tom Cruise, Mission Impossible. Ethan Hunt, Rogue. And then this is Whiplash, right? One of these is Whiplash, but there's five of them. Okay. Young adult genre four, Miles Teller. Okay, no, no, Miles Teller would be, it's got to be Whip, Miles Teller, impossible, because it's impossible to live up to J.K. Simmons' standards. What is this movie? Oh, Di I didn't know Miles Teller was in Divergent. <laughs> Tommy Lee Jones. I got nothing, man. With Denzel Washington and Val Kilmer in a movie together? Flight. Four flights of stairs. Miles Teller. Whip. <laughs> it's impossible to live up to J.K. Simmons' standards. His name is Wayne. That was a waste of time. Tom Cruise, young adult. Wait, Val Kilmer was in a young adult movie called Willow? Tom Cruise was in a young adult movie called Legend? Val Kilmer, young adult genre? <laughs> Tom Cruise, Val Kilmer, flight... Miles Teller! <laughs> oh, Top Gun. My ass was trying to get to Willow. Holy cow. Two swaps remain. Okay. We, we left on the Cine 2 Nerdle. We left on a high note at least. Oh. Okay. Take me to Tradle. Tradle might be my favorite. Holy cow. Never mind. This is impossible. Their number one export is non-filleted frozen fish, and then their number two export is fish fillets. <laughs> Vaccines, blood, toxins, and cultures. And then their total is 27.2 million. I mean, that's like so small. I have to think that it's like the Solomon Islands. It's close, but it's 4,000 kilometers southeast. It's Vanuatu. It's the Marshall Islands. <laughs> I don't know, man. This, I will say this is a little bit like actoral. I can't even think of the, is American Samoa? I'm just going to be honest with you. I don't even, it, to this extent, I don't even know what's down here, quite frankly. I have to, I, I, I'm, Okay, I'm going to say Canada, just, just to throw it so I don't cheat by looking at chat. It's a Cook Islands. It's a little bit like actoral, where, like, I play it because, like, I don't, I, don't, I, I don't know if these quiz developers know. I don't play, I don't have to play these games. This is not, like, assigned homework. It's not like I'm growing as a human being. I play these to basically inflate my self-esteem, okay? So if you, it, I'm not saying that every single one has to be, like, America, you know, or something like that. But does every single one have to be one of the 10 smallest nations on, the, on Earth? The same way actoral, like they never give you Brad Pitt. They're like, oh, this was like the person who gave Al Pacino his first dose of cocaine in Scarface. Like, come on, just, uh, just one day. Why don't you just give me like a, would you give me, just give me like a Mexico. I'm sure like in the top five, I would see avocados. They would have like tens of billions of dollars of exports. And I would be like, that's good. Okay, we also, we do like Globla. We like to start with Algeria. It's very far, 12,000 kilometers. That's like almost the maximum distance away you can get, I think. <laughs> um, give me... Just give me a Venezuela. It shouldn't have a chance to be right, but it can tell us maybe if we're on the right continent. 
Venezuela is actually further away, which is almost unfathomable. Um, so give me like, um, give me something in here. You know what? Just give me, um, give me an Afghanistan. 7,000 kilometers away from Afghanistan. Okay. Give me a... Tell you what, give me a... You know what? Just to get more information, why don't you give me like a Thailand? Because I was going to say South Korea, but you don't get too much information off of the neighbors there. 3,000... Oh, you know what? Australia is pretty far from everything. Is it possibly Australia? Oh! I was like, this can't be real. What country's far away from almost every other country? It's Australia and New Zealand. No disrespect to the Cook Islands. Average guess is eight. Today's guess is five. Well, well, well. And then we do Worldle. Flashbang out. I don't know what country this is. Um, you're the Cook Islands, probably. Not even close. You are 15,000 kilometers west of that. You are... Crete. It's not even a country. You are something in the Caribbean. No. Maybe something in... You're like Malaysia? Something in Asia? 6,000 kilometers west of Malaysia. I'm looking at this and I'm saying, does this country look like a boot? And I'm scared that maybe that's Italy with like San Marino next. It's not, listen, it's, <laughs> it's not Italy. Don't be stupid. But what other country could it be? That shit looks like a boot, man. It doesn't look like the Italy boot, but it kind of looks like... And I was like, maybe this is the Vatican, and this is San Marino, and they just blew it out for some reason. I don't, this is... Uh, I, don't, I, I couldn't even come up with a sensible answer, but I'm now thinking maybe this is Dominica. So, like, is that a chain of islands? No, it's to, the, it's to the east. It's way further away. We're going to the east. 13,000 kilometers to the east. It's closer to Malaysia. This is like off the coast of India or something. Sri Lanka? Sri Lanka is just one island, but okay, it's, it's much closer. Southwest of Sri Lanka? This shit is the ocean. No disrespect. I give up. I say Anguilla. I say Angola. Oh, no. Seychelles? Say chalice? This is crazy, man. It's been a... Is it, they're really out here giving us these tiny countries. No disrespect, disrespect to my Seychelles viewers. How about today's movie to movie? Quago? Okay, this, is, this seems doable. Silence of the Lambs to Mission Impossible 2. Who's in Mission Impossible 2? Tom Cruise. Um, Tandy Newton, I think. Silence of the Lambs. You got Jodie Foster. You've got uh, Anthony Hopkins. I think we could do this. We, we, listen, we're trying to get to Tom Cruise, which probably means we're going to connect via. Tr I, I know, I know how I have to do this. It's Silence of the Lambs to Jodie Foster to Elysium to Matt Damon. Matt Damon and Tom Cruise must have been in a movie together. But Tom Cruise doesn't do that many ensemble. Or Matt, Tom, Matt Damon and Matthew McConaughey must have been in a movie together. Interstellar, McConaughey, Tropic Thunder, Tom Cruise, Mission Impossible 2. Sorry, Mission colon Impossible 2. Okay, listen again. I, I go for speed. I don't go for fewest number of jumps. And I think for speed, we did great. Anthony Hopkins is in Mission Impossible 2. By the time you figure that out, I'm already seven dolls down the track, quite frankly. 
We're not playing correspondence chess. This is bullet. I'll tell you, if you get this on guess one, you've lost your mind. Wait a minute. No, I feel like I can get this. I feel like this takes place in a kid's room and this is the wall. This is like um, army men, Sarge's heroes. Metacritic score not available. This is Lemmings 2, The Tribes. It's a browser game. Oh, no, no, no. This is, um, this is Cookie Clicker. Okay, I honestly complete guess. That's the grandma. Okay, fair enough. Now give me a chrono photo. Chrono photo has been kind of eating us alive lately. Well, they're offending me right off the bat. So they've given us a photo of the worst herring fishermen in Norway. Why would you show us these, these women? are pro Probably the police were like, you're being arrested for not being good at catching herring. Can you hold up all these herring that you caught? And they're like, she's like, I'm going to prison. What's my husband going to think? It's kind of embarrassing, quite frankly. This looks like a colorized photo to me. I'm saying this is early 60s. I'm going 61. 52? Okay, 52. 2020? Emergency life pack for eight days. This, to me, looks like an advertisement for what to do if a nuclear bomb hits. Cold War really starts popping off early 1960s. Give me a 63. I'll take that. I don't know anything about early cars. I'm going to say that this is... Say this is in the 19... Honestly, based on the hats, I'm thinking this is like 1948. Oh, 1934! <laughs> Okay, it's Martin Luther King Jr. I would say realistically, this is probably early 60s. So let's go 62. Oh! And this is the this is Super Bowl negative 40. This is uh, George Clooney and Leatherheads. Let me get a 1926 on that. 1913. Okay, they kind of got me today. <laughs> me and the boys last weekend. I mean, the leather helmets, like, that's a, <laughs> that's a special one. I don't think they offered you that much protection. Like, the only thing a leather helmet offers you protection against is a level one skeleton. Okay, enjoy the rest of your evening. Tomorrow, I'm thinking, probably execution tier list, as long as there's no content that's TOSable. It's probably not against the TOS to talk about, to rank ways to be executed. I didn't invent them. I'm not going to show like the, a video of somebody being killed on stream. It's just like, would you rather have your head chopped off like by a sword or, you know, get a lethal injection? Maybe some people might be a little offended, but it doesn't feel like TOS. Anyway, I'll send you over to Kate. Enjoy your, uh, enjoy your day. I'll see you tomorrow. I love it when he becomes Mario. His name's Mario and he bounces on the shells. Some of these levels are hotter than the hotter than the hells. And when he spins, he can survive a spiny shell. Mario, Rio, please do better, please do well. Don't, 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 don't.